Arizona at Chicago. Chicago's a four and a half point favorite. I have nothing to say about this game other than after Sunday, the uh, Chicago Bears text chain has officially decided that it's time to move on from Justin Fields. There we We're go. We're going to trade him. We're going to trade him. Got uh, it. We've given the stamp of approval. Time to get to Caleb Williams. I was there. I was totally there. And then one of the guys in the chain, my buddy, Matt, we had a long, hour-long conversation on Sunday a couple weeks ago before the Bears beat the Lions. His wife intervened. She's like, we got to get out of here. I cannot listen to you talk about the Bears and Justin Fields anymore today. <laughs> and um, we were all in. But I'm back to reality. Caleb Williams, get to the Bears. Let's start over with the contract. Get a haul of picks. Build some talent. Free up our cap space. This game, I want to pass. Yeah, you got to get rid of get rid of Fields, get rid of the head coach, just start over. Uh, start over. You can't you keep guys, the head coach, and you can't get rid of the head coach and keep Fields. Then you're you're paying you're overpaying for a quarterback, and you're starting from scratch again. Yeah, and I don't know if you saw the stat about them this season, but um, it's pretty crazy where you guys have had three losses where you were yeah. up ten in the fourth quarter. And apparently you guys are basically like the only team to have that happen to you, like keep having these losses where you would be what, eight and six at this point? It'd be something where you guys would be like a game back of yeah. the Lions if you just hadn't blown those games. So, um, yeah, it's too big of a number here. Like Arizona, this is the play. You have to take Arizona here. This number should be three. You're getting an extra point just because Arizona has been bad these this last month. I mean, they have been very bad. And – you know, I don't know if it's just because they're so young and they have no talent, but this Bears team is just as young and they are struggling with talent, especially in the secondary. Like, what did Flacco throw for, Chad? 350 yards on the secondary after he threw three picks. Yeah. So this is this is a team that's been number one since week five in turnovers and interceptions, but has nothing to show for it. Um, they have say that say they have some crazy stat where they had nine picks these last couple of weeks, they have 13 total points off those interceptions. Like this is just a team that they just struggle. They struggle to be consistent in so many ways. So Arizona is terrible. I agree with everything. People's pushed back on this one, but this number's too high. Plus four is, is way too high. This should be plus three. So I'll take the free point of value and I'll take Arizona here. Uh, the stat you were referring to that Evan gave us on Sunday the Bears are now uh, three and three straight up since the start of last season when leading by 10 plus points entering the fourth quarter. The rest of the NFL in that window, 192, 16 and one, 93%. <laughs> so the Bears are 500, the rest of the NFL, 93%.